Let's talk about this last episode of Mama June. This is the last episode until June, and then they're going to have a short six-episode season, which is primarily going to be focused on Anna's death. I'm curious how they're going to do things. Is it going to be love during lockup for a few months, and then Mama June comes on for six weeks? Then after that six-week period, we get the new season of Love After Lockup, or are they going to go from Love During Lockup straight to Love After Lockup and put Mama June on a different time slot and put it on like after Love After Lockup comes on? I have a feeling they're probably going to make us do a six-week break, but who knows? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But let's talk about this last episode. So Pumpkin finally came back home and she was reunited with her family after visiting Alana back in Colorado. And meanwhile, Alana finally turned 18 and June decided, I want to pop up and surprise her for her 18th birthday. So Justin ended up reaching out to Alana and pretending he had a birthday gift he was sending her. So he needed her address. So Alana in confidence ended up giving it to him but instead he gives it to june and the real reason he wanted it was so they could pop up and surprise alana alana was surprised all right but not in a good way the last thing alana was trying to see on her birthday was june's face after finding out about the thousands that june had stolen from her while she was on drugs and as a child all the money she had earned and she said she doesn't want to have any type of conversation with her mom june unless it's about when she's going to get her money back Alana told her mom that Draylon's dad was sick and her and Draylon were having to go back to Georgia that night anyways, so it's pretty much a wasted trip for June. June was trying to make herself sound like mother of the year, like she just dedicated this whole trip to see Alana for her birthday. And Justin ended up calling out June in a confessional and saying the only reason you decided to go see Alana is because you weren't that far from her because you're out in Las Vegas vacationing. And while she was vacationing in Vegas, she was gambling because we all know how much Mama June loves to gamble when she's in Vegas. And she was posting on social media all her winnings from her gambling trip Yet, she couldn't pay Alana any of her money back. And that money towards that vacation could have went towards paying Alana back. And so, Justin was annoyed. He felt like the whole trip was a waste to Colorado because Alana really wasn't feeling it and she had to leave anyways. And he's like, June, you can't just be popping up on them whenever you feel like it. And she's like, well, the girls told me back in the day that if they ever tell me to not show up, that they really want me to. And Justin's like, you know, you gotta stop thinking about just yourself and you need to think about how other people feel. And I think that's June's biggest problem. She lacks empathy and remorse because she's only thinking about herself and her money at the end of the day and being selfish. Justin is exactly what June needs, someone to hold her accountable and call her out on her BS because June's rationality is all messed up and all her previous exes just seem to be yes men and go with whatever June was trying to do as long as they got some money out of it. And you can tell that Justin has grown up a lot since getting sober. He's over all this baggage that June is bringing into their marriage with her constant lies and failing to take any accountabilities for her wrongs or trying to make them right. After all of June's BS lately, Justin's over it and it's put him in a bad mood where he barely even wants to speak to June. So June tries to seduce him to the bedroom and this man is so over her BS that he doesn't even want to be inside her. He's like, June, that is not going to work. I ain't trying to do that right now. And meanwhile, 
Pumpkin's back at home and she is finally able to get a hold of all the Coogan account information now that Alana is officially 18. So Pumpkin calls up Alana. They're talking about how June wants to come over the next day and talk to them. And Alana was like, Pumpkin, I need you to get all the receipts, come with all the facts. So Pumpkin sits down and she spends hours doing her research, outing up all the numbers. That's how they need to do it though. They gotta come with all the receipts because otherwise, June is just gonna try to lie her way out of everything. So she does all her research and meanwhile, Alana decides to go take her driver's test and she actually passed, so good for her. I'm happy she was able to do that because I was starting to worry that she's gonna be a lifelong passenger princess. After Alana got her license, she drove over to Pumpkins and Pumpkins sat down and showed all the math she figured out on how much June owes Alana. And they didn't say how much Alana made from Dancing with the Stars, but they said after taxes, it ended up being around 46,000 and June only deposited a little un, a little over ten thousand dollars in there so she deposited a little over 21 percent of what alana made and took the rest and according to pumpkin's math she claims that june owes alana a little over thirty five thousand dollars she said in total it was over seventy nine thousand four hundred and sixty dollars that alana had made and with taxes that's about thirty five thousand dollars this is according to Pumpkin's math. And June and Justin ended up driving over to Pumpkin's to meet with Alana and Pumpkin. And Alana told Pumpkin, she's like, look, you come with the facts and all the receipts. I'm going to tell mom I want my money. And Pumpkin sits June down and June was scared as soon as she walked in because she saw the whiteboard with all the math and numbers. Pumpkin was like, this is how much you owe Alana. And June was like, no, that's how much you think I owe Alana. You don't know the math. And Pumpkin surprised June and caught her off guard when she said, no, we got all the receipts. We got all the details for the Coogan accounts. I got everything to back up what is on this whiteboard. And you could tell that June got a little scared when she said that. So Pumpkin sat June down and told her that there's over $35,000 that June owes to Alana. And that could have paid for two semesters of Alana's college. And June said that she doesn't want to waste that money on Alana because Alana may end up dropping out of college and she does and all that money just goes to waste. I can understand where June may have some concerns because Alana has worked in reality TV her whole life and she hasn't done anything outside of that. Wondering if she's actually going to be able to deal with nursing and the long hours that come along with working that. But at the end of the day, she should just be grateful that Alana wants to try to break this cycle and make something of herself. And even then, that's still not an excuse to not give her her money. And Pumpkin was like, okay, here you are crying about $35,000 that could help your daughter when you wasted over 40, or not 40, over $500,000 on an effing bag of crack. And you know, when she said that, it really put things into perspective. And the thing is, it's more than $500,000 because she's admitted to media outlets in the past that she spent well over a million dollars while she was using. And I just don't like how June was handling the situation. She's like, woohoo, okay, I spent all your money while I was on drugs. June said she's not about to keep fighting about this same thing over and over again. But what June fails to understand is the reason they keep bringing it up and why they're so angry is because June has not tried to make the situation right or resolve anything at all. She just wants it to be swept under the rug and she admitted she spent on drugs but what Alana and Pumpkin want to hear her say is that she's going to pay them back and make it right. And June wants everyone to move on like this is just some little thing like she stole some candy 
candy from Moana or something. But this is a big deal. This is stealing over $35,000 from your daughter. And I saw someone on Twitter make a good point because they say that June always wants to make sure that everyone moves on from whatever she does when she makes some pretty big mistakes. Yet she has yet to move on from being mad at Dodo, her blood sister who helped raise her just because she didn't show up to Alana's graduation. Especially when she's been there for every other big life event in Alana's life. Hell, she's probably been there more for Alana than June has. And Justin, he was so pissed off and he told June that she needs to stop acting like nothing happened. She needs to make things right. And the next morning, she needs to go and take out $35,000 from their joint bank account Otherwise, he's going to leave her. So he full on gave her an ultimatum and June said, okay, then leave me then because I'm not about to take no money out of my account. And you see how important that $35,000 is to June? Because if it wasn't, she would just hand it over to Lana. Well, this 35000 to June is just as important to Lana, who worked her butt off to earn that money. And June just can't put herself in Alana's shoes and show her daughter any remorse or sympathy. And that's the worst part about this whole ordeal. June made her own money from Dancing with the Stars. I'm sure June made just as much, if not more, so she made at least $35,000 minimum after taxes, and that's enough where there's no need to have to take money from Alana too. Like, I can see maybe issues like how Kris Jenner is with her daughters and took like a 10% management fee because I'm sure she's helping take care of like her nails, her eyelashes, and whatever she needed to feel confident while she was doing the show. But there's no reason to take almost 80% of that girl's money on top of what you made. That's just being greedy. And it's not like Mama June's out here struggling. Like I said, she takes all these lavish vacations. And she had just hit in Vegas before she went to go see Alana and talk with Pumpkin and Alana. We have to remember the last time they pulled her finances when they were trying to figure out how much she needed to pay for child support. She's making two hundred and seventy-seven thousand a year, and I'm sure that's increased a lot since she's got more sponsorships. She's made more off TikTok as she's grown more, and a lot of these shows. Once people get their own show, the longer they stay with the show, the more their pay increases each year. So it would not be nothing to her to just give Alana a little bit here and there. If that was Alana, I'd be like, okay, let's figure out a payment plan if it's going to kill you to give you give me $35,000 all at once. Just pay me $500 every few weeks or $1,000 once a month. And I just think June is out of pocket and Justin is starting to feel the same way and he told her that it's over if she does not make things right. But the good news is, as I reported last week, June went on her TikTok and she claimed that she just paid Alana back last week. She claimed she gave Alana a check for $30,000 she refuses to show the check because she doesn't want people having her banking information. But she said all people have to do is they'll ask Alana and Pumpkin and they can confirm it. She sounded pretty confident about it. I've yet to see Pumpkin or Alana confirm it. But June said Pumpkin knows for sure that Alana has the money because June claims she gave Alana the money right in front of Pumpkin at Pumpkin's house. And the crazy part is after Anna unfortunately passed away, June ended up getting custody of one of Anna's daughters, her daughter Caitlin, and I'm just so concerned how she's going to do her money now. I hope WeTV is going to take a lesson from what happened to Alana and make June at least put some of the money away for Caitlin or a good chunk of it to where it can't be touched so the same thing doesn't happen to her because we know now that June has custody of her, she's going to be featured in 
and future episodes and June's gonna be making a check for her too but that is it for this video guys let me know what you guys thought about the season finale of Mama June in the comments below check out my lashes and cosmetics at accordingtoamber.com give this video a thumbs up subscribe and thank you so much for watching